Okay, I just finished up 21-1, and we're going to go on to 21-2. So again, make sure your 21-1 is working before working on 21-2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 21-1, uh, just copy-paste, and I have a copy of that, and I'm going to rename it to 21-2, and I don't know, call this customer binary, whatever. So I have a copy of this directory. All right, and we are going to modify the customer DB class to work with a binary file. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my file name to customers.dat to specify that it is a data file. And we'll do something similar where, let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to delete everything within my loop right now. All right, so, and I can delete this one comment. That's not doing us any good. So I'm still going to use a file stream, and this really doesn't change. The path doesn't change. It's still dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash. We're still going to open or create the file if it doesn't exist, and we're opening it for reading. But instead of text in, this is binary in. And this is not a stream reader, it's a binary reader. And we're still using the same file stream. Now we're just going to make sure that these say binary in. So while binary in um, dot, and we're not using peak, we're going to use peak char. We're going to see if we can look at one character. If As long as we can get another character, then we're going to run through this loop. And when we're done, we're going to close it. And so right now, if I save this and run it, my customer list should be empty. So let's do that. Great. Customer list is empty. If it's empty, it's working correctly. If not, um, go back and review what I just did there. Okay. So now save customers. Um, same idea. We need this file stream that, again, uses the same path. It's going to create the file, so it's going to clobber over what's there right now, and it's going to write to the file. And instead of text out, we want binary out. And binary out is going to be a binary writer. And this takes the same file stream as we have here. Now, this customer FS, this customer file stream, this is the only place we use it. We create it here, and we pass it here. So I could take this line, I'm going to cut it, and put it inside the binary writer. And you can combine that into one line of code. All right. So whichever way you prefer, this is you know, kind of less resources because we don't have to say, um, store that file stream. You know, doing it like this, I have the file stream and I pass it here, but I still have that file stream as an object as I'm working through here. Whereas if I take the file stream, everything from new file stream, and I put it into, I send it as the argument to the binary writer, now it's created, sent to the binary writer, and by the time we get to this line, that's gone, okay? So it saves a little bit of memory, whichever is easier for you to understand when writing it out. Okay, so we still loop through our customers, and we have this customer object, um, but instead of text out, we're going to do binary out. And I'm going to do that on all these um, lines. And because it's a binary writer, we don't need to separate the fields with anything that's handled for us um, from the binary writer. So we're going to write the customer's first name, the last name. And again, because it's binary, we don't have to worry about new lines. We just write the data as we get it. And then we're going to close it. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to run it one more time. Now, if your 21-2 is building as 21-1, go to Blackboard, go to the 21, chapter 21 um, content folder, and you'll see where you can change that. And if you're not in my class, it's under, um, let's see, tools, options, 
under projects and solutions, you're going to go to build and run, and you're going to set MS build project build output verbosity, and you're going to set that to diagnostic. Okay, and that'll get 21-2 to run the correct way. Okay, so I'm going to run this again. Oh, I guess I already have it running. There it is. I'm going to add myself. I added myself. I'm going to hit exit. I'm going to look over to my, my folder. And now I should have customers.dat. Now, if I open this with a text file. This is what it looks like. And you can see that there's like, there's some binary in here. It's kind of hard to see because it's this, but this is saying like, okay, we have a string coming up and it's, I guess this is saying that it's four characters long because this one here said it's five. So you can see this is a, a data file. It's different than a text file. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. So that's great, but now when I run this, I wonder if we're stuck in a loop somewhere. Yes, we are. Okay, I was stuck in a loop because this do while peak char peak, remember, looks at the next character. Well, the next character always exists because it never moves it along. So we can't run this right now. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say dim customer as new customer. I'm gonna use the empty constructor this time. And then I'm gonna say, Customer dot first name equals binary in dot read string because I know first name is a string. I also know that last name is a string, so I'm going to copy and paste, and then email is also a string. Now, if you are saving anything else, like um, if you're working with products and you're working and you're saving prices, you could read decimals. Um, but we're reading everything in a, as a string. And then I need to make sure that customers, that customers list, I add this customer to that. Okay, now when I run it, here I am. Okay, I can add another one. Hit exit. Now let's look back at this customer.dat, you see that it's all on one line. This is a, a binary file, okay? So, and you can see here, um, just the different indicators saying that what's coming up and such. So this is the difference of your binary file or a text file being used as a database. But that's it, that is writing data back as binary data. Um, just, I guess the one thing I would note is that right now we're reading everything as strings. If you were, you know, if you're saving the, the person's age, you would, you know, use like read int. So there's different read methods on your binary reader. But now you can take that and zip it up and submit 21 to.